Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Rush Hour continued this week with two Russian resupply ships swapping places. It started when Progress 61 undocked from the Zvezda service module on Wednesday, where it had been docked for just over six months. Then a little over 24 hours later, Progress 63 blasted off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome with more than three tons of cargo on board. It's planned to dock two days after launch to enable testing of upgraded software and communications equipment that will be standard for future Progress and Soyuz spacecraft. It can be tough to hold on to everything in space, so one new device is looking for a solution from Mother Nature. The Gecko Gripper investigation is testing a new tool that uses a gecko adhesive to stick to items on command. Geckos have special hairs in their feet that let them stick to surfaces without that stickiness wearing off with repeated use. This new technology could enable capabilities like robotic crawlers walking across spacecraft exteriors, grippers for astronauts to catch and release objects, and reusable sensor mounts that can work on any surface. This week, El Cody wanted to know what it would be like to swim through a pool of water in zero-g. Well, there aren't any swimming pools in space quite yet, but a few astronauts gave us a pretty good idea of how it would look. The Expedition 40 crew emptied a few drink bags to make a giant water bubble before adding a waterproof camera. As you can see, the water absorbs the camera and sticks to the surface because without any gravity, surface tension becomes a powerful force to control the motion of liquids. Makes for quite a view. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.